So I posted a video about a Muslim named Hussein who entered the comments section of one video declaring that Islam is the best religion on earth and left the comments section of another video seven hours later as an apostate. Mohammed Barwani replied, David Wood's logic, one anonymous YouTube commenter leaves religion equals the entire religion is false. Muhammad Barwani apparently graduated from the Prophet Muhammad's school of interpretation where no one ever understands anything that anyone else has ever said. The point of my video, Muhammad Barwani, is that a Muslim can go from belief to disbelief very rapidly. It's actually Muslim leaders and apologists who've created this problem. By lying to Muslims for years, and by convincing Muslims to believe in Islam based on a foundation of lies, they've made it incredibly easy for someone like me to smash the foundation of lies with a sledgehammer of facts. If a Muslim hears from his leaders and apologists all his life that the Quran has been perfectly preserved, right down to the letter, and that this is a miracle of Islam, it's extremely easy for me to go through his sources and show him that the Quran was changed over and over and over again. And then the Muslim realizes that he's been lied to. He no longer trusts his leaders and apologists. He has no other reason to believe in Islam, and so he leaves Islam. The other mistake you made, Muhammad Barwani, was in thinking that this is only about one Muslim leaving Islam. Several years ago, I would skim through my YouTube comments each day, and I would take screenshots of comments from people who said that they had left Islam after watching my videos. I would post them on Facebook back when I was on Facebook. I was able to post from one to three comments every day from people who had left Islam. I eventually stopped doing that because going through my comments every day was taking up too much time. It would take far more time now because I get far more views and comments. But for old time's sake, I decided to skim through the comments on a couple of my new videos. I didn't have time to go through all of the comments even on these videos. But watch what I found just by skimming through some of the comments just on a couple of videos. God bless you, David. You helped many ex-Muslims like me in Pakistan. Thank you for saving me from Islam. I left Islam because of you, David. First, I hated you. Then I realized you were 100% correct on everything you said. You know the religion of Islam more than majority of Muslims. I tried to prove you wrong, but ended up discovering the truth about Muhammad. It doesn't matter what religion or what century, middle-aged man marrying a child is just wrong. Now, David, I love you because without you, I'd still be in the dark. Here we see another progression. A young woman writes, I'm Muslim and I'm fasting Ramadan. I watched some of your vids and I don't know anymore. I've only watched slash read the positive things about Islam, but now I started looking deeper and I honestly don't like, neither agree with what our prophet did. I'm disappointed. Same young woman several hours later. I just want to say thank you for these eye-opening videos. I was yesterday bored watching YouTube, and I got recommended one of your videos, Facts That Muhammad Isn't a Feminist. I got really mad deep inside. I felt insulted in so many ways, but I tried to deny the truth. I turned off my PC and tried to sleep, but I couldn't. I kept thinking about it all night. Today, as I went to YouTube, I directly got one of your recent videos recommended again. I was scared to click, but I had to. In that video, I learned that Muhammad wanted to marry a baby, literally a baby crawling, not even able to walk. So now I'm done with this BS. I can happily say I'm not a Muslim anymore. And if I'm wrong and Allah is real, then I don't mind going to hell. Thank you again. Keep the good work. God bless you. I don't know which God, but may your God bless you. That was total annihilation. Lol, thanks to David Wood and Sam, I left Islam, which has the most obvious false prophet in world history. I left Islam two weeks ago, during this great Ramadan month. Thank you, David, for enlightening me. Now I wanted to take baptism. Please help me in doing so. I am from Pakistan. Ex-devout Sunni Brelvi Muslim here. Brelvi is one of the sects of Muslims in Pakistan, along with Diobandi and Tablighi Jamaat, etc., 
I initially disliked apostate prophets and David's videos when I first started watching them often around November 2019 as it felt like a shock to my Islamic system and thought, hey, they must be working for Israel. Once I listened to what David was saying in an unemotional, unbiased, and rational way, I checked some sources he quoted in his video and thought, aha, surely he must be making this all up. However, I was shocked to find these sources existed and my emotions now turned to the Islamic sheikhs and scholars whom I had loved all my life and wondered, why haven't I been told this side of Islam before? Around January 2019, I'm guessing you meant 2020, I left Islam and once again I thank apostate prophet and David's videos whom even Christians call aggressive and over the top. God bless you both. David Wood, I would like to thank you so much. You were the reason I left this god-awful religion, and I am with Christ. I can't wait to get baptized after quarantine. It will be amazing. Keep on going, exposing Islam. I can definitely confirm this to be true. I used to love Islam and the so-called Prophet Muhammad. I used to believe that he was the best way and, in fact, the only way to God. I can't believe that I was deluded and I'm amazed and saddened by the fact that my family and over a billion people in the world are as well. We'll never be able to deconvert all of them, but I really respect what you are doing, David Wood. Out of all the YouTubers who critique Islam, the fact that probably the best is a Christian is ironic to say the least. Unlike the Muslim in this video, it took me several weeks to denounce the Quran and Muhammad, but everything is much more clear upon doing so. Thank you, David Wood. I disagree with you on religion in general, but I'll never forget the common sense and satirical nature of your videos. Your channel is truly inspiring. I'm from Iran and currently an ex-Muslim. I haven't become a Christian yet. I want to do some more research, but I will probably become one in the near future. Anyway, I want to thank you for showing me that Islam is false. I never was a devout Muslim and I started hating Muhammad. Ouch since I found out about Aisha, so it didn't take a lot of time for me after seeing your videos and reading the Quran verses that allow wife-beating and having sex slaves to leave this religion, and I hope other Muslims find the truth about Islam too. How many of these would we find if we went through all of the comments on all of my videos? Seems like a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam. And this is just one YouTube channel. There are lots of channels that are wrecking Islam, and there are people who are doing it on Facebook and Twitter and other platforms. There are people who are sharing the facts with their Muslim friends. There are people who use the videos to share facts with their Muslim friends. Check out these comments. May the Lord Jesus bless you, Brother David. I'm using your videos to witness to Muslim friends. Thank you. I have you in my prayers, brother. As a Catholic Albanian, I can tell you for a fact that I know Albanians who left Islam and became followers of Christ because of your videos. May the Lord bless you and your family and your work, David. And you've got another problem, Muhammad Barwani. Deep down, Muslims love me. They can't stay away. They witness my rugged manliness and razor-sharp wit, and they're drawn to me. Don't take my word for it. I'm a Muslim. You are thinking that I'm here to debate, but I'm here to listen to David, sir, to get some knowledge about religions. I just love how David, sir, talks. But here's what should really keep you up at night, Muhammad Barwani. How many Muslims really know even the basic facts about Muhammad? Very few. And yet, the few who learn about Muhammad leave Islam like they're trying out for the apostate Olympics. What do you think will happen when the facts about Muhammad become common knowledge? What do you think will happen when everyone knows that Muhammad had sex with a prepubescent girl and proposed marriage to a baby and took the wife of his own adopted son and beat his wives and tortured a man for money and allowed his followers to hire prostitutes. What's going to happen? Only one way to find out. Back to work.